Hello everyone. Right then, so let's get our tidy cal set up. So by now you've bought tidy cal. Um, if you haven't already, there's a link in the comments for you to use, which I would love to use our affiliate link. Um, would really appreciate if you use it. And if you're not sure if it's for you, check out our video in the link. I'll link it as well in the description where it shows a comparison of tidy cal and calendly. Now then, one of the first things we want to set up is two things really. We want to set up our profile and our integrations. So first off, we're going to set up our integrations. So if we go here at the top right, you will see your name here. And what we want to do first is we want to change our profile photo. And all we need to do is click here. And then you would select your profile picture and job done. And then next up, we want to set up our booking page. So I don't want it to say do, 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 random letters. I want mine to say IT Moon. That's what I want mine to say. And then your name, the email you want to use, make sure you've got your time zone right. What kind of time format do you want? Currency, so mine's going to be pound sterling. Anything here about the, the booking typo? Um, I'm going to put Team Wizards as our booking page title. Um, you've got a booking page description that you can edit, which I'm not going to go into now. And then you've got your booking page theme colour. So you want to make sure that you use your colour. So I actually don't know my colours off by heart. So let me just grab my colour. I'm going to use the um, orange. There we go. So we're just going to put my colour in here. Da -da -da. Now it doesn't want to copy. EC A72C. Still doesn't like it, does it? How rude. EC A72C. There we go. And then press save changes. And then now, if I press view your booking page, we can see now that. It's using this orange for the buttons. It's using it on there just to give it a bit more theme. We've got Team Wizards, book a call with me, and then our profile. And then obviously it will list all the calls that you have available. So next up, what we're going to do is we're going to go into the integrations. So if we go into integrations, this is where we can add our different things. So I'm going to first off connect my Google Calendar. So I'm going to press add Google account and sign into my Google account that I have. Press continue to give it permission. I mean, it's going to load, I have a lot, by the way, um, different calendars. So we need a primary. Now, this is where things are going to get added. So I actually want client meetings as my primary calendar. That means when someone books a meeting, it will go onto that. We can't make it go on more than one calendar. We can only make it go on, read more than one calendar, shall I say. We can only make it read one. And then basically, we can set all the different ones. So all our events are going to go on client meetings, and then we set it up. So I want it to check my schedule um, as well. And I also need it to check my memberships. I don't want anything clashing with my membership calls. Don't want anything clashing with my schedule. And I don't want anything clashing with this either. So this is what I'm going to leave on. So what this setup basically means is if someone books an event, it will go onto my primary calendar. So if someone books a call in with me, it goes onto client meetings. When it's looking at my calendar, it's going to check Laura's schedule, client meetings, and the Fine Business Academy to see if there's availability. So it's going to check them there. And then I'm going to connect with Zoom as well at the bottom. So I'm going to press connect with Zoom. It's going to ask me to sign in. So I'm just going to sign in there allow it access and now we can see at the bottom zoom's being connected if you want to connect paypal you pop it here and then we've got stripe so obviously stripe something that we want to connect up so i'm just going to load my stripe up now for you hang on so when you've got into your stripe account what you want to do is at the very top you want to press start typing key and then you'll see this come up where it says dashboard pages developers API keys. So if we click into that, then what we want to do is we want to get our keys set up. So if we're going to integration, it's asking for a publishable key and a secret key. So what we first off want to do is here we can see standard keys. And all we need to do here is press create a secret key. So if we press create a secret key, it's going to send me a global text code to log in.
give it a name. So I'm going to type it count and press create. And what's this called for a password? I mean, it's going to give me a lot of words and letters. So as you can see, now it's giving me a key. So I want to copy that key, press done, and that's our secret key. So the secret key is going to go into here where it says secret key. And next up, we need to get our publishable key. And if you can see that, you can see it listed here. It says publishable key. So this one here, we're going to click on it, and it's copy it to the clipboard, go into integrations, copy it into there, and press save the Stripe keys. And that's it. So now we've got our Zoom connected, we've got our Stripe connected, and we've also got our calendars connected. I'm not going to do Zapier in this tutorial. We'll do that in another one. Um, but you can use Zapier as well, and you can do custom integrations. So to start off with now, all we've done in our brand new account is we've set up our profile and we've set up our integrations. And now we can go on to actually setting up some meetings in the next video.